Hi guys, my name is Valentina. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to use your Zhiyun Tech Smooth 3 mobile gimbal to create a moving time lapse. Today we're actually gonna be creating a real hyperlapse with real motion, uh, not just edited motion. The best thing to look for are objects that will actually move. And in this case, we have clouds, which give us a broader range of motion. So you can see a lot of that movement, not just tiny people in the scenery, but large clouds, which end up looking really cool on video when you speed it up or when you use an app like the Zyplay app to automatically create a time lapse. It always looks super cool when you have clouds in the background. All right, so we're gonna head outside to shoot our hyperlapses, but before that, I'm gonna show you guys how to set this thing up. The very first step is to find a stand that could hold the gimbal. I've chosen a Joby Gorillapod 3K. It supports up to three kilograms or 3,000 grams, which is plenty strong for the Smooth 3 gimbal as well as the iPhone. You could definitely use a tripod or any stand you wish to use. Just make sure it's strong enough to hold the gimbal and the phone very still in place. Next, we will attach the phone and balance it. Simply attach it to the mount and you can use the manual adjustments on the back of the gimbal to get it close to center of gravity before powering it on. But if you were in a rush like I was, not to worry, you'll see that the gimbal automatically calculates and balances itself perfectly, even if you didn't balance manually beforehand. It does help though, and I do recommend you do it. Now that that's balanced, we will open up the Zyplay app. Make sure your Bluetooth is on because that's how you'll control your Smooth 3 gimbal from the phone. Then once it's connected, you are ready to roll. I found that the Zyplay app does work on both Android and Apple, but the responsiveness is much better on the Apple 8 Plus versus my Samsung S7. So for demonstration purposes, we will use the iPhone. Before we even get started on the hyperlapse, it's important that you do the step and open up the joystick to turn the joystick on locking mode. Locking mode will allow you to use the joystick to move the phone side to side and up and down. This is important for you to set up your specific keyframes for the hyperlapse. Otherwise on the default mode, which is pan following mode, you'll only be able to move up and down with the joystick. Now that we're set up for the hyperlapse, you can open up the moving time-lapse mode and we will move the gimbal using the joystick because you've set it on locking which allows you to pan and tilt. Now we'll set up our keyframes, which is where you want to begin and end. You can even select multiple sequential frames. So let's go side to side first, and then I think we'll go up and down. We've got to select our timing. So typically the rule of thumb is slow moving, like clouds are between half second to a few seconds. And for fast moving objects, we're thinking milliseconds, like 100 milliseconds, 200 milliseconds, up to half a second. And you can always play around with the speed in post. If you want to be super precise, you can always use a time-lapse calculator and there are plenty of apps out there for that. So that was pretty easy. Now we will hit begin and basically sit there, which is gonna be the hardest part. And we're gonna wait for the app and the gimbal to work together to create our moving time-lapse. It's super easy and now all we gotta do is get outside and start shooting more hyperlapses. Thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this hyperlapse tutorial using the Zhiyun Smooth 3 mobile gimbal. I took this gimbal with me all over Asia. I took it to Vietnam, I took it to Guangzhou, I took it to Macau, which is where you're seeing this video from, and I will continue to take it with me on my travels because it's just so easy to use. For more videos, please make sure to check out my channel, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on the notifications to get an update of my next video, and if you can, please click the like button because that'll make me super happy. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye!